Hello champions, welcome to another episode of Pixt. Today we're playing on the map which is called End of the King. So as you can see there is a crown. And myself, I'm a red player. I could go for a lower yard. I think this is what I'm going to do, but I would like to send a lion's request to every each of those players. Guys, let's do it. The yellow player and Zep taking over King's Guard. Pro troops by white. Hopefully he breaks through yellow guys and let's just simply take a look at those three D graphics. Right well, he goes for crown jewel. And right well, please move out. Thank you very much, sir. What will you do now? Blitz is your troops of yellow. And he should be waiting for the green player to move out. He shouldn't blitz those troops immediately. Hurry troops by green. The green player got a lot of troops on this place, guys. And will he actually go through the yellow players? Well, guys, to so just simply break those traps. Let's be yellow and green players. Will be enemies? And so right, well, the white player sets my lines like Thank you very much. Hopefully we can work something out. And also I've got a 6 through party right there, guys. Is that a part of something? Okay, well, it seems like this one called Battlement. Interesting. Now the blue player will go for West Keep, right? Yes. So not so good what the blue player turn is before mine, guys, because I cannot even fortify my free throw farm out. And the blue player will be receiving those true bonuses first, guys, but at the very least, he loses a lot of troops. At the very least. Also, Iron Sides Fall, guys, could go for this plus two troop hold if I want. But I would have to require to waste a lot of troops, guys, and other player might just simply blitz me, man. If I take over this whole guys, not a guarantee, but the blue player would allow me holding it. I could still take over it, though, guys, and so do not guard any of the borders. So if a blue player breaks through me, then I just simply lose a single troop, and that's it. Not where my nine troop army would be ready to strike. Hurry throws by yellow, so far the weakest player in this game, right? Well, technically, the blue player is a little bit weaker, guys, but he hasn't received any troops for this second round. Let's see, right? Thanks. The yellow player says, Red will don't you break through me, I would like to be your ally. Red will very least good neighbor, I do not want to start in a conflict with you yellow guys. At the very least, not yet. Hmm. Let's take a look at this one, guys. Red will wipe the fleet, guys. The yellow player would have to blitz that sixth of army of the white player as well. Let's see if the green player didn't move out, guys. Red will the white player is forced to blitz green. Four to fight like that. Three throws by green. Let's see, will he continue pushing out yellow, guys, or will he blitz blue? Blue it is, he takes over this hold, and that's king quarters, worth plus four troops. Right, and doesn't got his... this hold either, guys, interesting. Now, blue, what's the blue player break from me or not, guys? Our vice right where I end up receiving those troop bonuses. Will he be guarding, guys, or will he be breaking from me, guys, and breaking it is? And let's say, oops. Three troops by me. Let's add more troops at work, guys. What I have to do is to just simply capture a single troop territory, and that's it. Three troops by yellow. The yellow player will retake over this. Alright, good. He'll be bordering green, guys. And yes, breaks. Breaks for the green player like that. Yeah, so this is why you shouldn't be a bad neighbor, guys. The green player broke through yellow, and the yellow player retaliates back. And right there, since the green player didn't move out his troops from guard ropes, his troops got crushed as well. Now let's see. Right, white. Break for yellow, don't you? Break for me or just simply blitz green. Let's see. Breaks for yellow. Yeah, in this case... That's where the white player is able to expand easily. It drops by green. Let's take a look at the cards, guys. I have to get a horse, and I'll get a set of three cards. Let's see if the green player will move forward. He'll try wiping out yellow. Will he achieve it or not, guys? And 7 versus 4, will he do it? But even if he makes it, guys, the yellow player still got a 4 troop army in good well. So yeah, this is why it was such a... Big diplomacy, diplomatic mistake, guys, by the green player to break through the yellow player turn one. Now let's see what will the blue player do, guys. He made himself as my big enemy, guys, right? Yes, he takes over this, but since he broke through me, why should he expect me to allow him hold that hold, guys? Yes, let's see. All right, well, I'll say, oops. That's where I'm going, Kalino, on you, blue, now. You didn't allow me holding that you want to be bad neighbor, so let's go, guys. Yes, I got blitz. 
right about i'm taking the attacker's advantage guys let's go let's actually continue going forward guys like this can i even completely wipe him out let's go right where we're getting that sweet revenge guys 89 percent blitz yes 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 let's send guys like this and right well let's send our turn guys the white player could break from me but it would make sense for a white player guys that's where i wouldn't really be able to retaliate back to him so unless i've got a set all right and i got a set guys nice let's actually send him a uh, hard guys especially since the yellow player is attacking a white red where guys doing those blitzes yes let's see takes over this hold which is worth plus three troops eight throws by whites let's see what will he do right well he should be careful guys because i've got a six drop armor right there on the other hand so goes right there mm -hmm. all right so well, the white player is all right it's a good neighbor guys good let's send you a hard sir now green the green player will break for yellow guys right yes because of those are enemies yes yes so if a blue player doesn't have a set guys i'm eliminating him from the game and yes no enemies for me anymore so unless i would get new enemies guys so in this case do i want the blue player to survive because that's where this part is kind of cut off from me guys i'll be just simply chilling right there let's see blitzes yes blitzes my troops he'd rather wipe me out from this secret stair territory right yes all right i mean it could still eliminate him if i want but do i want that because i know that the white player will uh, will be kind of playing passively guys all right so that, let's take a look guys plus four and plus three and plus five and plus two for white so uh, he will be equalize each other yes could eliminate blue guys i mean so would the blue player get a revenge later in the game well i mean <sighs> I mean, let's just simply be safe, guys. Let's just simply be safe. Let's eliminate the blue player from the game. Let's do it. All right, good attacks, guys. We lost two territories, and the blue player is toast. Now, oh, yes, we get in play. It's not said, guys, not yet. Could technically attack white now, if I want. But I'll just simply put those troops at war, guys. And that's going to be it. Three troops by yellow. Three troops on eight set, guys, will attack green yes didn't want to attack the white player guys because the white player would like to trade on a set and then the green player could attack me as well if i end up being strong all right yellow two versus one will you do it because the green player will just simply add those troops on that territory again well right where he would have to go for me if he wants to wipe you out from that place let's use some blue players those guys here was super unfriendly to me so he had to face those consequences and now i see the yellow and green players continue attacking each other guys so i mean in that sense it would make a lot of sense for me to attack white and for the white player to attack me let's see right well <laughs> that's where he will a smart move by yellow i guess guys because right where he's making the green player weak so what the white player could eliminate the green player from the game completely otherwise the green player trades on a set himself and retaliates to the yellow player back so let's see will the white player do that guys obviously it would be better for me if the green player trades on a set and retaliates to the yellow player guys because otherwise i end up in a three player situation with white and yellow and we do not attack each other so we'd have to fight both of them at once or just simply stay neutral as well right so the white player wanted to attack that guys right and yes he does the timer is running out guys okay yes only a single territory that's super good for me let's see maybe the green player doesn't even have a set and hopefully he doesn't bot out though and finally deploys troops guys okay well maybe even five cards for me then five easy cards guys let's go 14 troops i'll put more troops at where guys is that a gg i think right where i'm just simply winning this game at that point yes all right well let's not waste troops guys let's just simply put more troops right there more troops right there as well guys i'm trading in a set at the same time as well wow let's go more troops to this place let's attack this okay failed blitz guys but that's good to know let's go right there guys i think i can just simply go right there like that let's eliminate the green player for five cards next i'll go for yellow let's trade in a set right some more troops right there as well right well i should hurry up guys should hurry up let's go can we eliminate the yellow player from game guys yes the yellow player is toast i trade on another set guys okay well the worst set possible but that's fine can still break through the white player's hold let's go and let's go right there guys i mean or should should have kept the army load guys and honestly let's fortify like that 
so was like me play by me guys would have been better for me to allow private player getting plus two but make his army lot guys because that's where besides him being able to take over those guys here gets the attackers advantage of even five troops let's see how much damage will he be able to do to me right we're looking at your troop counter i'm still ahead guys but right where he is losing no troops taking over those one troop territories and right this is what a mistake for him gosh okay where he switches to more rolls guys it's this one right where he has to break through those two otherwise right where i end up receiving plus two troop bonus let's see two versus one unlikely blitz but he makes it all right where he wastes so much time guys so much time on that and he still has to break through that plus three let's see he goes right there, guys, and he runs out of time. I do not have a set one. Yes, so how to break through all of those holds. Let's add more troops right there as well, guys, just to be sure. Two more troops right there, and yes, let's just simply go. Let's see, right, well, I lose those troops, but that's fine. I'll just simply take over those holds. Now let's go to break through the white player right there, guys. Let's do it. At the same time, I'd like to go right there, guys. And now let's fortify my five troop army like that. Three troops by whites. Does he have a set? Good game, okay. Well, thank you very much. And he likes the game, guys. That's a GG, but a W. Beginner, beginner, intermediate, and beginner.